Hi, I'm Chris Martirano here with American Music and Sound and our good friends at Full Compass. I'm going to be showing you the Studio Logic Numa Stage. This is a beautiful keyboard, beautiful stage piano, laid out very, very easy to operate. Two zones allow you to split or layer, and then you have a MIDI control area where you can send two MIDI zones, again with splits and layers, out your MIDI out ports or your USB ports. The instrument features 12 world-class sounds. The pianos are combining a physical modeling technology along with sample playback. They have physically modeled the damper resonance, which when I step on my sustain pedal on a real piano, all the dampers would lift up. Any of the keys that I'm depressing would then excite other strings, and you'd hear this damper resonance simulation. They also have uh, modeled sympathetic string resonance, where if I play some keys very silently and then strike notes that have harmonics that relate, we would hear the harmonics vibrating. And we'll demonstrate that in a second. And then the third aspect they've modeled is this uh, simulated um, soundboard modeling. The soundboard, of course, is resonating in a piano. So all these three elements come together along with the piano samples to create a very realistic piano sound. We'll start by listening to the concert grand. I'm going to be playing it from a Fatar TP100LR keyboard action, which is a hammer-weighted action. It has a very, very nice feel, and the key tops for the black keys, they look like simulated uh, ebony. Very, very nice. So here is the concert grand. There's a beautiful decay. The sounds have this nice long decay. Very, very nice. We'll listen to the stage piano. This is a bit brighter piano. As I said, the front panel is set up for very quick, very easy to use controls. I have chorus, phaser, rotary, and tremolo effects. I'm going to apply some chorusing to this piano. In fact, I'll put a rotary on it. We'll do something very cool with it. And I'll add a little bit of treble EQ. You have two bands that affect the whole instrument on the output, bass and treble. So I'll boost a little treble. And, uh, my free wheel here, which is the mod wheel on most synthesizers, can be assigned to control the depth of my effects or the rate. So right now I have it controlling the rate. I'll add a little bit of hall reverb. A lot of fun. Let's listen to the electric pianos. There's a reed electric piano and a tyne electric piano represented. Here's the tyne electric piano. I have a bit of phaser on it. I'm going to control the phaser at a fairly slow speed, and I have a depth control for it on this knob.
Let's listen to a little of the Reed Electric Piano. This is using the tremolo effect. I'm going to bypass that for a moment so you can hear the raw piano sound. Put a little chorusing on it. Very, very cool. We'll listen to the clav sound really quickly, and then I'm going to make some splits and layers for you to show you how easy that is to do. So right now, this is a clav. I'll bypass the reverb. Really funky. A little bit of phaser on that's fun. You can see how fun this instrument is and great to play live. I'm going to layer a piano with a, a pad right now, one of the two pads found. By the way, the 12 sounds include, besides the pianos, the claves that I showed you, there are two pads, two organ sounds, and two basses, an acoustic bass upright and an electric upright. So here's a quick layer between concert grand and a pad. I have a balance control. I'm going to turn more in favor of the piano. There's functions that allow me to quickly program some cool stuff happening. Very easy to follow. They're all orange silk screened with an orange circle around the function button. So right now, I'm going to assign the expression pedal I have down here, which is like a volume pedal, to control just the pad sound. So now I can play piano and fade in the pad. It's very nice when you're looking for a complement and you just want to add the pad at times while you're playing. So let's look at a quick split. This will be acoustic upright bass and piano. I press two buttons at a time, either to layer or split, and then I hit the split button if I want to split. I can program the split point very easily. Right now I'm going to leave it where it's programmed, which is a, uh, a, an F sharp. So we have acoustic bass. Piano in the right hand. Very quick, easy to split. If I want to save any of these, I have 50 locations I can save these combinations to along with my effects. So let me demonstrate that sympathetic string resonance. I'm going to play three notes in my left hand, a C, a G, and a C, very quietly so they don't make sound. And then I'm going to strike middle C, G, and the C below, and we'll hear the sympathetic strings resonating. Now, if I strike a note that's not harmonically related, such as, let's say, in this case, a B flat, 
I won't hear any ringing, or an F sharp. So only the notes that have harmonic relationship to the notes being held will ring. So that's a little bit of the sympathetic string resonance model. So that's the NUMA Stage Piano from Studio Logic. If you have any questions, check with your sales professional at Full Compass or go to fullcompass.com. Thanks again for watching. I'm Chris Martirano.